Right before I had met Balanced View, I, uh, I was really, really um, always wanted to just be happy. That was just like my primary motivation for life. I wanted to feel good. And very something that I felt made me feel really good was when I gave a lot of attention to the physical body. And, uh, and I, when I do lots of exercise, when I make myself look in a certain way, a certain weight, a certain tan, like whatever it is, no pimples, so all of these things contributing to my happiness. And this is what I really felt like this, this was it. And so if I dedicated my whole entire life to making this physical body look good, feel good, act healthy, then that is where my stability will lay and that is where I will have a really happy life permanently. However, <laughs> um, I met the Balanced View training when I was, I would have been about 27 or 28 and up until that time I held that theory really strong for 28 years. However, I never found permanent stability. I never felt like I was completely comfortable with myself. No matter what I did, how I acted, no matter, no matter what I, I tried to do to really like make this physical body feel good, there was always something more. I needed to lose more weight or I needed to just get rid of that pimple or I needed to wear these clothes that made me look in this way. It's just all, it's always, always something more. So when uh, I came to Balanced View, it was at a really interesting time of my life. And I had planned to do a, a two week yoga course. And again, like after 27 years, I still really believed that after I would do this two week yoga course, then this would give me the sense of satisfaction and happiness that I was looking for. But luckily, for some reason, and I don't quite know why, I decided to participate in the 12 Empowerments, which is one of the, the, the introductory courses of Balanced View. And this changed my life forever because after these 12 days, it's impossible to believe anymore that your well-being lay in anything else other than open intelligence. So what is open intelligence? Like this is what we all want to know. This is why we're here. We want to have permanent satisfaction in our lives. We want to know what is the basis of our empowerment? What is the basis for life satisfaction and flourishing? So when we start to recognize open intelligence in our lives, we see that this is where our power is. This is this is who we are. This is where we can see, this is where we find the comfortability to be ourselves. And it's so much fun to be ourselves. I know for myself, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to be, be me. But for some reason, it was so confusing. Like, I just, I just want to be me. But I thought that me looked in a certain way. I didn't realize that all of my hatred, all of my anger, all of my jealousy, all of my competition, all of these negative thoughts, emotions and sensations, which in Balanced View we just call data, I didn't realize that they were also me. And that actually, if I can find a way to really allow them to be as they are, if I can have the training to allow them to be as they are, then I feel completely comfortable being me. I'm not scared of my data streams anymore. So open intelligence, what is this? Stop thinking just for a moment. What remains? Power, cognizance, alertness, peace. And then the thought comes back again. All the thoughts come back because we know it's impossible to stop thinking permanently and that's not what we're trying to achieve. 
However, when we take short moments, recognizing this open intelligence repeated many times, then open intelligence is obvious. So all these data streams, our anger, our hatred, jealousy, whatever it is for you, are inseparable from open intelligence. Open intelligence, like a flawless crystal ball, completely unaffected by all of the colors and pictures that are, are passing through it. You hold a crystal ball next to a bomb explosion, the crystal ball remains unaffected. You hold a crystal ball next to the pink flower, the crystal ball is unaffected. Like us, like our minds, like open intelligence, data appears, we are unaffected. Hatred appears, we are unaffected. We are powerful open intelligence and we have the power to live as that permanently, completely unaffected by any data streams. And open intelligence is empowered by the benefit of all. So we live a life of benefit. As we're gaining familiarity in open intelligence, we get to know our powers of great benefit. And these powers of great benefit really nurture and strengthen our abilities to recognize what our strengths, gifts and talents are. I know for myself, I always used to think that I was good at a certain set of things and I was not good at another certain set of things. And so that's just what I focused on. I just focused on a few things that I was good at. But when I actually become comfortable with myself as open intelligence and I'm empowered to allow all of my starter streams to just be as they are, all of a sudden, I'm not focusing in on the data streams anymore and believing that they have an independent nature. I'm wide open. I'm wide open for benefit. I'm wide open to live as an empowered human being, like we all are, completely wide open and just ready for benefit. All of our data streams, they resolve like a line drawn in water. They leave no trace at all. So this is just such an amazing freedom just to know this, to really, really know that we do not need to do anything about anything that is occurring for us. So if irritation arises, in the past I know if I'm, I'm in an intimate relationship, and so if uh, my partner did something and irritation arose for me, I really believed that I need to, to focus in on that. I, mean, I, needed to, I needed to find relief from this irritation because it didn't feel good. Like I, didn't, I didn't want to feel irritated. So, the reason why I didn't feel good with this irritation is because I didn't know that I could just allow it to be as it was. So I used, the four, I used this amazing support structure of the four mainstays which is provided in Balanced View. And the four mainstays shows us a way in which we see that no matter what arises we can respond in complete benefit. So in my intimate relationship now, when data arises, when irritation arises, when hatred arises, whatever it is, I'm just completely supported to allow that to be as it is. And instead I respond from benefit. I respond with as the benefit of all. So what, are, what is the support of the Four Mainstays that Balanced View offers? The, support, the Four Mainstays is this incredible offering that guarantees that open intelligence becomes your experience permanently. So we have a trainer. A trainer is somebody who has recognized open intelligence in their experience and can empower you to see this for yourself as well. We have the training and amazing websites with talks and downloads 
and when you just click onto the website, just clicking onto the website all of a sudden open intelligence is obvious. We have talks that you can listen to all the time, 24-7, as much as you like. We have also the community, which is people like you. And coming together in a community like this is just, it's so incredible because we see that, wow, it's not just the trainers who are unaffected by their data streams. It's also the community. We have a powerful community of people who are also living as that reality. We see that when we live in community, people irritate us all the time. All the time, pretty much. <laughs> you know, I, I, I feel like irritation comes up for me like, like in any group situation, somebody says something that I don't like. However, we're not living like that anymore. We're not living as a victim to our data streams anymore. We are living as the benefit of all and we're empowering that for the whole of humanity, not just ourselves. And then we also have short moments. Short moments are very, very powerful practice of the balanced view. Short moments repeated many times until open intelligence becomes obvious. And we just do this in such an effortless and natural way. <laughs> sometimes I take many short moments a day, sometimes many short moments an hour. Like if, a, if a, I find that afflictions is when I take the most short moments because this is what reminds me to take short moments. So in that way, we're really grateful for our afflictions because when something negative comes up, this is when you want to feel good. You know, this is when you know that, all right, if I'm being really affected by, by this data stream, like if I really just want to punch that person right now or, or something and I'm really considering acting on that, you know, this is okay, we need to take a short moment. <laughs> and so... And so we just take short moments whenever we effortlessly, naturally remember to do so. And they are totally effortless. So relaxing. Every time an effort's being made, then we just relax again. It's like open intelligence is so obvious that we think that there must be something more, like we must be missing something. Like there must be, I, I must not be getting it because this is too simple practice, this is this is, there needs to be something more than that. Maybe I need to go and do like 25 sun salutations or maybe I need to go and meditate in the mountains or, you know, ma ma this is what we've been trained to believe, that in order to recognise open intelligence, we need to do something for that. I need to study books and books and books about it. However, right now, Candace, who is the founder of Balanced View, she has provided us all so gener generously with the Four Mainstays. And the Four Mainstays guarantee that open intelligence becomes your experience effortlessly, without needing to do anything. It's sort of like unbelievable. Like, how can that be the case? For years and years we've, we've always learnt that it's not like that, but it is like that. And that's why it's so powerful to be here in the community and just to see that it can be so effortless. And, you know, to think that this is too simple, it's, it's just a shame because it is, it is that simple. It's a, such a simple practice. And um, yeah, I just love the topic of decision making. I was actually thinking yesterday um, about how hard it was for me to make decisions because I always believed that whatever decision I make, it, it was, felt like it was just like the most important thing of my life. I just didn't know which decision was I going to be happier with, this one or this one. And it could be anything. It could be, um, do I go to... Mexico or India, do I have um, apples or pears for lunch? 
do I break up with this boyfriend or do I stay with him? You know, it's like decisions just constantly need to be made all the time. And uh, I just would go crazy when I had to make a decision. Create, like it was just the most stressful thing ever for me. I just didn't know what to do and I didn't know who to get support from. So I would just go and speak to all of my friends. What should I do? What should I do? And everyone, of course, has different opinions. So to have a trainer now who I completely trust, a trainer who I know is always going to give me the advice that I want, even if I think I don't want it. She's always going to give to me the advice that I want, which is the advice of the benefit of all. She's going to support me to make a decision that is grounded as the benefit of all. And so this firstly, just having my trainer there, it takes away all confusion in decision making. But then to see also naturally through using the Four Mainstays when coming into this indecisive uh, data streams, I've just really seen that I don't even make decisions anymore. By allowing all of my data streams to be as they are, not needing to go into any of them, the decisions just make themselves. And actually, when I look back in retrospect of my life, I never really made a decision, even though I feel like I did. The decision always just happens. So it's so relaxing now to not need to get caught up in, in the whole tension before a decision is made, to just relax and wait until the decision is obvious. So this is just another great element of relaxation in my life because I have decisions every single day that need to be made and now I just don't even think about it. I just know what to do. Open intelligence always knows what to do. And that's what we're gaining familiarity with, that which knows exactly what to do in every time, place and circumstance.